Are you really afraid of spiders? Stick around, we got a review just for you. Hey there, gamer guys and gals. Today we're reviewing Kill With Fire. It's developed by Casey Donnellan and I was pushed by Tiny Build, the guys that are responsible for some really quality games like Hell Point, Hello Neighbor, Speedrunners, and uh, one of the first games we reviewed here at Gamer Guys and Gals, No Time to Explain. So if you haven't tried any of those, definitely check those out. They're worth your time. But this game, uh, you basically have a list of objectives and a house or place full of spiders and you have a tracker and you're trying to find them and you're trying to take them out and uh, that's by any means necessary like total destruction of these places usually after you're done and the environments are like so destructible you can like tear everything up and it's so much fun and I understand I hate spiders myself so I get it the game is really more in depth than I expected it to be. I didn't think there'd be all these objectives and all these different weapons. Like there's tons of different weapons. There's batteries hidden on each level. There's equipment hidden on each level. Like upgrades for your uh, scanner. And you'll find pistols and shotguns, flamethrowers, RPGs, um, weed eaters, just so many different weapons that are so much fun to use and there's different objectives for using each of these and it's just a blast like uh, blowing up uh, all these different types of spiders with uh, shotguns and all these really cool weapons like you even get ARs and there's different types of spiders as well uh, and they bring them along as you go they don't throw them all at you at once this is a queen see she lays eggs so you have to kill all those two you have radioactive spiders you have uh, jumping spiders that are the worst you'll hear creepy music playing you're looking around for them and all of a sudden one will jump out at you and it's just uh, so much fun and uh, you also have um, just a basic black spider there's like a, just a ton of different things on this game that I just didn't expect and I just had such a blast playing it and I, I played it from start to finish I just qu couldn't quit playing it and uh, I, I even went back and started trying to 100% it because it has a different ending for getting 100% on it for doing everything there shows you all the each level it shows you what you, you need to do there's also upgrades for your equipment and yourself like things to help you sprint, carry more stuff, uh, see spiders through walls, shoot lasers at them, even a tiny mode to make you play it when you're really, really little. So that's just so cool, like uh, all the different things that you can find. And uh, but you could beat the levels really quick. It's not that long of a game. I'd say I probably did it all in about two hours and then I went back and played it even more. You see here you can get spider like bait and this will also change the spiders into a certain kind whatever different food you're using there's different ones so like if you have uh, something where you have to kill a certain spider you could uh, also change them into that spider too to help you get it but um, just so much destruction there's like C4 on this game there's um, molotovs so you're pretty much just wrecking all these buildings and it's just a blast to go through here and like throw dishes and I think there's achievement on this one for just throwing all the dishes the objectives are just so much fun too like you see here you'll find these little papers that tells you what the objectives are and this one's organized tools so you gotta find all the tools and place them on this board you know and then you have things like throwing away trash bags scanning food items to come up to a certain price just so many cool objectives that I didn't expect to 
have in this game so uh I really enjoyed that aspect of it as well uh they're, they're not super difficult the game's not super difficult there's like a bonus mode like after you do everything on a level where you have to kill spiders so many in a certain way and those might be challenging but if you use the energy drinks it slows down time so it makes it uh, easier like you see here here's me throwing away the trash bags like I said earlier there's stuff like p planning uh, putting statues see yeah right here's the statues placing them in a certain order just a bunch of different things that I didn't think would be in the game and I had fun doing this and they don't exactly tell you what they are unless you find them so you'll be uh, trying to figure it out and it's just fun solving the puzzles I, it's just a blast solving puzzles and also blowing shit up you see here I'm throwing exploding barrels and you can just completely wreck these places and uh, it's so addi it's so addictive and fun I, it's one of those games I, you'll play over and over even after you beat you're gonna come back and play it again there's exploding spiders I forgot to mention them and watch me blow this gas station up it's just so cool it's, I can't. I just can't get over how much fun this game is. And something else that's fun is the achievements. You know, most games just achievements are pop or beating levels, and there's nothing to it. These are actually fun achievements that you want to go back and get. There's uh, one for dropping a golf ball into a cup. There's one for um, dropping an anvil on a spider, which is really funny. Kind of reminds you of like Roadrunner cartoons. There's some for uh, I, I don't know. They're they're just so much fun. They're not you're not going to get them unless you actually look them up and figure them out. There's one for 360 no scope and like uh, it's like called Pro Gamer or something. It's just hilarious. Everything about this game, it's uh, it's one that you're going to play over and over, and you're going to want to show people because it's it's so comical. Uh, here's how you get the achievement for dropping an anvil. You use these balloons to pick it up, let some bait under it, and drop it on them. Come on, you can't tell me that doesn't look fun. Definitely check it out. Tiny Build releases some really good games, you, and this is another one. You really got to give this a try. If you do, let me know. I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to hear what you thought about it, if you enjoyed it as much as I did. And, uh,. Thanks for the support, guys. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, all that good stuff. It helps us get more games. helps uh, devs and publishers want to share their art with us. And this right here is definitely, definitely a piece of gaming art. I gave it an 8.2 out of 10. Don't miss out on this one. It's so much fun. Fun as hell.